Hi, it's Melanie Lutz. I'm here in Loveland, Colorado for a really simple reason. A voice asked me to come to Loveland and see what I needed to learn about love. I'm looking to change the conversation that when I say it would be possible to have a love land within our daily lives, that people considered the possibility that there's a way to do that in their life. I literally heard a voice that said to love everyone. Why would I want to love everyone? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> you have to love yourself a thousand percent, more than a thousand, a million, infinity percent to love someone else. I know infinity keeps going on and on, so you have to keep loving yourself on and on. I walked into town and so many people just like had this angry vibe and I could feel the energy from them and I'm like, no, Back out. no, dude, check this out. Like life is worth living. You can jump around and play with it. And just like when you're a little child and decided to play with a dollhouse and play house and whatnot, you do that exact same thing only as an adult. Wake up to a truer sense of love that doesn't look like or sound like but is a deep knowing, a deep feeling of harmony with all that is. By planting that seed within ourselves, what we want to create, and by stepping into it, moving from that place inside, acting as if that's already in existence here in the world, we start the process of change. Anything that exists outside of us must be born within us as well. Love is a choice we make every day to be in community and connection and peace with our brothers, loving them as ourself, loving everyone. The difference between the people who want to conserve and keep something alive and the people who want to, for example, cut a tree down is that it only takes one minute to cut the tree down. But to stop people from cutting the tree down takes a much longer and more consistent effort. What would the world be like if love always remained the answer? Our eyes and ears are merely recording devices. It is the heart that creates connection. If all thoughts were loving, we live in a world that had no fear, anger, no hatred, war. What love looks like is an experience of peace. We're here in this moment, extending love, having our heart beat, and allowing for the possibility of now, of now, of now. It isn't always easy, it isn't often clear. In the middle of my transformation, my metamorphosis, my shifting from fear to love, my father passed away, my dad died. Small towns are places where we believe in each other or we don't survive. Could I be in a space where it was like love always remained the answer or whatever jackass thing someone was doing if I could be loving in their, in their own assholery? On the cover of her book, it says, consider the possibility that there is another way. Loving everyone became something that was almost like an honorary badge of courage of some deep level that became super simple. Every mountain needs a rainbow. Every mountain needs a Rainbow needs a rainbow that leads to harmony. I'm Melanie Lutz, and this is Mel's Loveland. What if all of our thoughts were loving? <laughs>